the real question is, are people free to rise by their ability? Are they free to take advantage of opportunities? Um, or are there barriers in the way? But the idea that people should be rewarded anywhere close to a Jeff Bezos simply because what they exist, mm -hmm. um, what it really means and the only way to achieve it is to penalize Bezos for being so good, so productive. And I think that is the dark heart at the core of the inequality campaign. It's not that they care so much about the workers at Walmart, it's that they hate the people who create Walmarts and Amazon. It's that they, they view that with resentment and envy and want to tear it down. And what they do then, because that's a really ugly motive, but what they do then is that they concoct arguments to rationalize that hatred. And those arguments, unfortunately, appeal to many better people who are just confused by the issue or persuaded by their arguments. And so what we, what we try to do in our book on inequality mm -hmm. is, is we try to peel back those rationalizations and show we, we have a lot of problems in this country, a lot of economic challenges. But if we want to think about them in a moral, just way and reach just conclusions, we need to stop thinking about it in terms of groups and in terms of some groups having more than others. We have a lot of problems, but the gap between what one person makes and what another makes is not one of them. So